Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I'm sure you're convinced as I am that we still have a really great country. Of course. Of course. And the problems that we have are not with our country, it's with our government. There's a lot of great people. In the I'm, not, I'm not really afraid that we're going to fail as a country. But when I see the, the word fail, what I really read is oppression. Our tax system and the things that they've been doing uh, this last two years since this administration started are oppressing our people. Mm -hmm. right. There are, I guess, 25 or so taxes in this uh, Medicare, Obamacare bill that are in there. One of, everybody's got their hot issue. I see, uh, I look at this 3.8% uh, gross sales price tax on real estate that's coming down on every home Every commercial building. I mean, you know, we. 1099s you got to fill out? Yeah, we, we, we've got, you know, a large part of our problem is real estate. And now we're loading on a, somebody sells a house for half a million dollars, a $19,000 tax on that person for a million dollar home, that's $38,000. I, I would like to know what we are, what your plan is to try to, um, Either repeal or amend the health care bill, in particular for the law on this project. Yes, sir. So I take Obamacare personally because I'm a breast cancer survivor. I battled breast cancer last year. And I know that the breast cancer survival rates in this country are 30 points higher than in the UK or Canada. And the reason more women survive breast cancer in this country is because we are focused on early detection and aggressive treatment. So I was horrified when Health and Human Services came out with a new protocol for breast cancer where they said, you know what, women don't need to get a mammogram every year, we can go to every other year. And women don't need to engage in self-exams because it creates too many false positives and that costs too much money. By the way, there was not a single oncologist on that task force that made that recommendation. If I had followed that recommendation, I probably wouldn't be standing here. And it is not compassion to throw 16 million uninsured people into Medicaid, which is what we did with Obamacare. California is already underfunded for Medicaid. We were handed another $3 billion unfunded mandate for Medicaid. And just the other day, I read a heartbreaking story in the LA Times about a woman on Medicaid who went to the LA County Hospital with a lump. Guess how long she has to wait for her biopsy? Five months. It is not compassion to take people and throw them into a program that has no hope of providing them service. So we must repeal this bill because it is created. the deficit instead of lowering the deficit. It's not just that it's going to tax people in ways they never expected. The real estate tax, the 1099 for everyone you do more than $600 worth of business with. It's not just that insurance premiums are rising and people are now losing their access to care. It's also that we're actually not caring for people. So we have to repeal it. You don't tinker around the edges. And let me just say, one of the things I think we should do is actually subject the health insurance companies to real competition. Today, they are in a regulated oligopoly of 50 states. continue to do that. I am extremely proud of all of the endorsements we have gotten from the Hispanic community and we will continue to do so. And we are proud of every endorsement we get 
from, as well, Democrats or independents, because, you know, as some of you may have heard me say before, I think what we're seeing going on in California is whether you're a Democrat or an independent or a Republican or whatever your national origin is, people have had enough. They've had enough of out-of-control government. They've had enough of skyrocketing unemployment, and they've had enough, most particularly, of 28 years of Barbara Boxer. Hi, Senator B. Carly. Your comment on the negative impact of abuse of lawsuits on California's economic problems and nation's economic problems. You know, one of the tragedies of Obamacare is that we miss the opportunity to do the things that we know work. So we know here in California that medical malpractice reform helped, and yet we miss the opportunity. We failed to put that in as part of this national legislation. Barbara Boxer's husband is a trial attorney for the Look. We know that there are some times where, of course, people need recourse to justice. But we also know, and I most particularly know, that there are way, way too many cases where filing a lawsuit is an opportunity for somebody to make money. It's not about getting access to justice or gaining appropriate redress. It's about making money. We know that. So, of course, we have to have tort reform and medical malpractice reform. Of course we have to have that. And we're not going to get it as long as Barbara Boxer is sitting as a junior senator from the state of California. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a very, uh, this is a book. Let me just say one more thing before our, he's such a nice book. Uh, let me say one more thing before um, folks come up here and tell you a little bit about how we can help. We're going to have some great people come up here and talk with you about how you can help us, how you can help us get out the boat, how you can help us talk with people, how you can help us galvanize and motivate folks to exercise their right to hold people accountable. That's what voting is. It's our right to hold people accountable. I am an optimist. I have always been an optimist because I have great faith in people just like you do. And that's why I know that it is always better to let people make their own decisions for themselves and their families. Let people spend their own money in someone, instead of someone else spending it for them. Right. This is a great country. It is the greatest country on the face of the earth and in the history of the world. And in order to ensure that this country remains great in the 21st century, we have to hold the government accountable. We have to create jobs again. We have to get government spending under control. And we have to fight not just for our jobs today, but for our children's future tomorrow. Help me defeat Barbara Box on November 2nd. I cannot do it alone. But together, we absolutely can do it. And when we do it, we will send a message right across this country that California will once again be the great and golden state. Thank you so much.